Some of us are going to do our favorite game in the whole wide world. Hoedown! Yeah! Hoedown with Laura Hall on the piano. Laura Hall. Uh, one of the audience has suggested something you want to keep secret. Your mother is a drunk. <laughs> Sounds great. The drunk mother hoedown with Laura Hall on the piano. A drunk mother hoedown. Well, I knew Colin's mother, yes, I must tell the truth. When she was nursing Colin, her milk was 90 proof. She wanted to kick the habit, she didn't know what to do. But if your baby looked like that, then you'd be drinking too. That happened just to me My mama started drinking When I was just three Now I shouldn't Let the secret slip But my mama started drinking When she married Chip My mother drinks a lot I know that isn't strange But her behavior gets really strange She acts as though she's from somewhere else Maybe like Venus Oh, by the way, Chip has a little penis It's taking mighty long I am so sick of this bloody song Wayne sits there and he gets to rest His penis is large, that's why he's behind the desk Drinking song. It's a really great game where we have to make up a drinking song one line at a time with the help of Laura Hall on the piano. Uh, what I need, let's have this corner of the audience right here give me a suggestion of something that embarrasses you. Yelled out the wrong name in bed. Yelled out the wrong name in bed. Wrong name in bed, Irish drinking song. Take it away, Laura Hall. One night I was getting freaky With my little girly lane Boy, we had some fun <laughs> One Of the story, I don't know what has happened. He wrote me a letter. My underwear is snapping. I think there was a girl involved. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know what to say. Meow. <laughs> With the game called Irish Drinking Songs for everybody coming up. Irish Drinking Songs. Laura Hall on the piano. Laura Hall on the piano. Uh, let's get, these guys are going to make up a song for you. An Irish Drinking Song, one line at a time. And what I need from the audience is something that really changed your life. Graduation. graduation. Good for you. First one to yell out. Nope, too late. Let's hear the graduation Irish Drinking Song. Take it away, Laura Hall. Oh. Today I graduated. I walked right down the aisle, dressed in my long gown, all the while, a while, ready to go into life. Put on my cap and gown. I was so proud. I wish I were a clown. My tassel was on the left side. My pants were on the right. My parents sat over there. Hey, it's graduation night. I finally got the diploma. And then I drank and drank. No. Get a fast food place. Now I work in the bank. Oh, I wish those berries were never gone. 
I understand. And I wish that as well. I like that didn't go as planned. But things didn't turn out as I planned. I became a rock fucker. In fact, I changed, became a man. Hold down. Take it away, Laura Hall. I love being a rock star. Pop songs make me sick. I fly around the world and I get a lot of chicks. This point I'd be the rock star that I thought because I sing my songs. <laughs> I make them painted pearls. I make lots of money and get lots of teenage girls. And when I'm singing, I really got the power. Yeah, I'm a rock star when I'm naked in the shower. I wish I was a rock star. My image would be good. I would look so virile like any rock star should. I could cucumber in my pants so it looks like I don't rack. Of course it looked much better if it wasn't in the back. I want to be a rock star, that's what I want to do. I bet every one of you would like to be one too. I'd like to sing rock and roll, that's my kind of sound. You'd never hear me singing a stinking hoedown. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's everybody's favorite game, Hoda! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> With the help of Laura Hall on piano, Laura Hall helping us out with the Hoda. Now, what I need from the audience is a suggestion uh, of something you don't want to get cut to. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's do the shoplifting hoedown. The shoplifting hoedown. Laura Hall, whenever you're ready. I scored a different. When I was younger, took a field trip to the zoo. I was really mischievous, so here's what I would do. But my crime, damn it, made me dance. I tried to put a cheetah and a rhino in my pants. When I go out to a store, I never like to pay. I got five finger discount, I just take it away. I never pay for nothing, I don't pay no rent. And I never tell the truth, cause I'm the president. Something it really was a sin. It was a little revolver made of gelatin. It really was a bad idea, something I should have slept on, cause I was arrested for carrying a congealed weapon. The correct way can be such a bore I have to steal everything when I go in a store Not to loot and take things can be really hard But I guess I shouldn't cause I am a security guard <laughs> uh, Because you did so good, you're all going to get to do a hoedown Come on. You keep that spirit alive, baby, because it's going out. Yeah. What I need from the audience is a suggestion of a reason you might wear a mask. Plastic surgery. Plastic surgery is a reason you might wear a mask. So let's do the plastic surgery hoedown. Here is some news I heard all over 
the paint. Michael Jackson had surgery to fix his face. He didn't think that he looked good. He started sulking. I saw him the other day. He looks just like Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Okay. I know something nice. It isn't so darn nasty. You could just be a doctor and go getting rhinoplasty. Michael Jackson had some. It wasn't just his loss. Instead of one Michael Jackson, now there's two Diana Ross. The plastic surgery didn't work. I must confess. My, my face is one big bad mess. Here's a little hint if any of you go. Make sure your doctor isn't Dr. Picasso. <laughs> I wanted surgery, but my doc said no. I had to force him because I had no place to go. I had to threaten him with my big old Mauser. Now I look just like a grown-up Doogie Hauser. A grown-up Oh, I love this game. Irish drinking song. Now, uh, everybody, uh, somebody on the far section over there, give me a uh, major life event. Graduation. 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 <laughs> Bikini wax. Not a major day event. Not a major event in your day, a major event in your life. Well, I had breakfast, then I got my bikini wax. That took an hour. Okay, it's the graduation Irish drinking song. They're going to make up a song for you with the help of Laura Hall. Uh, one line at a time. It's really amazing. Uh, take it away, guys, with the graduation Irish drinking song. Today I will graduate and I will get my diploma. I have studied really hard. I'll move right to Pomona. <laughs> and there I'll open a business and I will get real rich. I am so happy. I'll leave that old law. Wait to leave high school. I have a big degree. I'll be on my own now. They won't laugh at me. I had a bikini wax. I feel so proud. I've got no more hair there. My mom's yelling real loud. Oh, lady, 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 lady. I walk up to the dean. I say, thank you, sir. I give him a high five. And it's all a blur. He hands me my diploma. That's the really truth. Don't you understand? Look, here's my tooth. I've got a great job now. Now I can drive a truck. Because I'm a truck driver. And I transport docks. I'm making lots of money. Making lots of cash. Making lots of ducats. Sitting on my ash. Hold on, yeah! Oh, piano, Laura Hall. Uh, somebody from the center section, give me an idea of what you want to be when you grow up. Magician. Magician. Let's do the Magician Hoedown, Laura Hall. Take it away. Magician all my life. I go around the house going, hey, surprise, doing those things to my wife. I want to go to Vegas, her I do annoy. If I was one half of an act, it'd be Siegfried and Leroy. Magicians are really hard to do. Hard to think of one verse, but alone even two. Let me tell you something that'll give you a little laugh. If you take the rap again, I'm gonna saw your ass in half. Thank you, 
Girl. I am a great magician. I have this special hex. I can take a man and make him change his sex. It really is quite simple. The best trick in the world. I just tickle Wayne's bum and he screams like a girl. Magician, and I think he should. The only problem is he's not very good. He really sucks. He's the worst in the land. His best trick is pouring hot coffee on his hand. Hey, welcome back to Who's Body But Anyway. Tonight we're going to end the show with Colin who is thanks for us. Colin, I want you to read the credits as the evil Batman villain, the Tickler. <laughs> Take it easy. We'll see you next time. Good night. Everyone will come under my fingers of tickling death. Dan Patterson, you will be the first to go. Mark Levinson, you'll be next. You will all be in the grips of the actor like you've never seen before. Girl, Daddy. Wayne Brady. Ah, you will all scream like girls. Stephen Bloom. What's your... Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no, he's invulnerable to my tickling power. Feel good, Johnny Goops. I good. That was my. If you call it, hold on. I think we gave a hard one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Roy Nuka's audience has a suggestion of something you wanted to be when you grew up. Police officer. Police officer. We're gonna do uh, the police officer hoedown. Take it away. to join the LAPD, LA's best, but I can't see, so I failed the vision test. I went one night to the church and prayed under the steeple. I wanted to be a cop so bad that I joined the village people. Next year I'm gonna marry me a lady cop, cause with her the sex is something I can't top. What's so sexy about her? Is that what you said? Well, I love it when she reads me my rights and cuts me to the bed. I was once the best cop in all the land. People as they saw me go, boy, is he grand. I was so respected, believe me, I'm not lying. Till I got fired for making an H with Ryan. I got busted once, and boy, did that hurt. He wasn't very big, he was a little squirt. He tried to frisk me, threw me up against the wall. He had to get a ladder, cause I'm over six feet tall. Do a hoedown for you with up Laura Hall the piano. So, what we need from the audience? We need a suggestion of a, a stage of life that causes you anxiety. <laughs> puberty. Let's do the puberty hoedown. Screechy. My hair was lank and freaky. I walked around the school feeling full on totally geeky. But the thing I hated most when I went to the dance was getting dragged across the lawn in my underpants. Well, I hated high school. I did not have a ball. I just hated walking through the hall. I hated going to every class because the pimples on my face. But now they're on my ass. The hardest 
time of my life was going through puberty. It seemed like everything around just excited me. Now listen to me now, this isn't one of my rants. When you go through puberty, do not wear sweatpants. I didn't handle the puberty thing too well. In fact, for me, it was like going to hell. And it was kind of embarrassing, if the truth be told. Cause when I went through it, I was 42 years old. 42 years old. Well, we all know life that one man's heaven is another man's hell. And to prove that, we're going to do a game for you called The Irish Drinking Song with Laura Hall. Uh, what I need is uh, from the center section of the audience, give me a bad thing that happened to you on a date. <laughs> Got pregnant. What? Got pregnant. On a date? Worst thing that happened to her on a date. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> I remember you, honey. <laughs> So let's do the Got Pregnant on a Date Irish drinking song. Take it away, Laura Hall. Okay. Oh, I I once went out with a guy. I took him to the movies. Things got out of hand. It really was Craig Groovies. We went back to my place. And then it got intense. Boy, we had a lot of fun. I had to put up a fence. I didn't have what I needed. Boy, I had some fun. Boy, we didn't have made a mistake. I was the unlucky one. When I got home that night, my ovaries did swell. I puffed up like Jiffy Pop. I'm a dude. What the hell? I started getting fatter. I dilated there. I had me baby right in the underwear. Boy, it was painful. The head started to crown. He turned around and said, Dad, I'm calling Law Creek Hell. I slapped him on the butt there. And then I slapped his head. And when I slapped his bottom, I slapped the doctor instead. I called my boy Roy. He looked good. And when I got him home that night, you can get two for food. Somebody from behind me, tell me something embarrassing that happened at Christmas to you. Knocked over the tree. Knocked over the tree. Knocked over the tree. Let's hear the knocked over the Christmas tree Irish drinking song. And you're going to make it up one line at a time. It's really fun. Take it away. Oh, oh, oh. When I was in the forest, I chopped down a tree. There it is. And that's the way it be. And then I took it home for my kid. I put it up in the corner and then covered it with the lid. Oh, I, 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 I took a little ladder and climbed it up a tree. Step by step I went up. Yippee, yippee. I put a star on top and started to fall. I put presents underneath and broke my Christmas ball. Oh, I, I put the fire out myself with the fire extinguisher. And then after I was finished, ding a ding a ding sure. I didn't know what to do that day. It was so sad. No one got angry. I peed my pants. Let's go on to a game called Irish Drinking Songs. This is all four of you. Thank you, Lord Hall. I want to read to the audience is something that might, uh, that you think what might happen to you that you want to keep secret. Vote for Ross Perot. Vote for Ross Perot. So what they're going to do is they're going to do an Irish drinking song for you. One line at a time. So let's hear the Voted for Ross Perot Irish drinking song. 
for. Who's the little man with the giant ears? I voted for him years ago. He bought me lots of beers. He was a millionaire. And he had lots of cash. And he used it, used it all. He never bought me. He was a tiny billionaire. Tiny as can be. He didn't get a lot of votes. He got me. He ran on the reform ticket. And he had big feet. But he's still my favorite. He cannot be beat. The party was a strange one. I voted anyway. I went and I cast my ballot. I laughed along the way. He lost by a landslide. But I still support him so. I wonder what he's doing now. I heard he lives alone. Oh, I did, 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 I I hope he runs again someday. Maybe in a couple years. I hope when he runs this time, he gets better ears. Again, he'll have my vote there. You will see. Because there is no one else. Ha, 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 he, he. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I By the way, if you keep it score at home, you're the dumbest person I know. What a time waster you are. Now, let's play a game called Hoedown. This is for everyone with the help of Floor Hall. Hoedown, everybody. Time to do the hoedown. Yeah! We're about to throw down a hoedown. Uh, what I need from the audience is something about uh, modern life that you absolutely love. Vending machines, that's a good idea. We'll use that one. <laughs> Let's hear the vending machine hoedown. I'm a human vending machine, it's really awfully dandy. Just give me your money, cause my belly's full of candy. Look right through the display in the window, here's the glass. Give me your quarter, I'll shoot some candy. I love vending machines, that is why I sing. In this newfangled age, you can get almost anything. You can get a Bible if you're a theologian. And if you're really horny, you can even get a Trojan. There's a song about a vending machine. I hope it makes much sense. Just listen very carefully, because it's totally in French. La chocolate, the chips, and we a bought that don the sheen. And me la coin with boule la fou, ou la queche gros. Singing a song about a vending machine. Don't you know that it's really not my scene? Trying to think of something clever with a little twist. If we do another hoedown, I'll slit my wrist. Which is called Hoedown! And I think we're going to hold on. Uh, we need a suggestion from the audience of a first that you'll remember for the rest of your life. A first. We'll do the first kiss. Now we'll do the kiss uh, hoedown with the help of Laura Hall. Take it away. When you get a kiss, you get a kiss on the mouth. I've been kissed lots of times. I'm from Florida. That's the South. My first kiss, brother, it was the bomb. It wasn't from a girl in high school, it was from my mom. Well, my first job was in fast food, don't you know? The hours were real long and the pay was real low. My boss told me that he didn't like my sass, so my first kiss was a hearty kiss my ass. Uh, 
Our first game is going to be a game called Let's Make a Date. This is for all four of you. Uh, Ryan, Colin, and Wayne. You're going to be contestants on a dating type show, hoping to be pick, to be picked by Greg. I don't know why that would ever happen in real life, but that's what it says on the card. Uh, each of them has been given a strange characteristic or identity uh, that's written on the cards. If you're all ready, Greg, off you go. Yes, but what's the point, Drew? Since no one would ever pick me. Well, what you've heard is feelings. That's nice, Drew. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, fuck you, Drew. <laughs> I was just joking around trying to get a little laugh, but it was just sarcasm is what it was. Yeah, well, words can hurt. I'm really, really sorry. Don't you think a hug is in store here? I've had Drew's ass, and now I want more. Now we're going to a game called Props. This is for uh, all of you. They're going to divide... <laughs> Drew Carey! Something's funny. What is that in your face, huh? <laughs> Points to Ryan for getting Brad's chair all wet. <laughs> I love it. Right. Oh, it's just stuck in my butt. <laughs> hey, it won't be the first time your butt's been wet. Hi, that's for number one. If you were a lipstick color, which one would you be? I'd be lemon-flavored ass kiss. <laughs> a lot of people said rap, but I wanted a style of music. So... <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> I'd like to throw out a W to my homies. Okay, never mind. Okay, that was great. 500 points a peach. 100 a peach. <laughs> I got a peach. I got a peach. <laughs> okay. So, Sarah, you just have to pretend to be dead. Can you do that for us right now? Security. <laughs> Want to limbo? I'm getting some... I'm getting some altitude! <laughs> Do you like Doogie Hauser? I don't think we should be watching this. Look at the size of my dick. <laughs> and a uh, thousand points to uh, Ryan and Colin for just dragging those things around. Now we got into a game called... Out of the break into multiple personalities. Okay, I'll tell you some of the lines from my roast. Uh, what did somebody say? What Jeff Frost said, Drew Carey is to comedy what Mariah Carey is to comedy. Speaking of stools, we'll be taking a break shortly. 
Colin and Ryan, let's hear the album uh, Songs of the Lifeguard. We interrupt your movie, Men in Back, for just a few moments while we tell you about a special offer. Call? I'm kind of tired. What are you taking? <laughs> oh, fuck you, then. I will. You know, we've got many CDs on this. I don't know if you knew this, but we have a campus minister and a 17-year-old in the audience. Hey, you wanted the free tickets to see a TV show? Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I'm as much fun to make as I am to eat. <laughs> Care to find out if this is my real color? Not everything about this reindeer is tiny. My family came on the Mayflower. <laughs> what? Blind Jim. Blind Jim. Blind Jim. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that was a great one. So, uh, Brad, you're a superhero, the new superhero, Blind Jim. Blind Jim. And... Oh, <laughs> What? They're saying no? What a surprise. <laughs> How about Cripple Carl? Is that what they're saying? <laughs> Retarded Ricky! Ricky. <laughs> it's Herpes <laughs> Hank. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like the blind part. I'm sorry. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> Keith? Does this look weird? Does that look weird? Slower, but a bit more up. Slower and more up. Yeah. I hear that. Bite a nickel for every time I heard that. <laughs> Slower and more up. <laughs> Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Loose Bowles. And now with the circus report. <laughs> Kissing everybody on the lips. Grabbing bread. Good thing I'm sitting down. This show would be canceled. I'm a valet parker, this is my valet vest When you give me your car, I'll treat it the best I will drive a thousand miles an hour around the block And you'll be got motherfucking cheating <laughs> Stop, 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 stop it. Can't you see you're upsetting the host? Skydiver. Well, that one certainly was popular. <laughs> yes, it does look easy sitting behind the desk, standing in place. Singing a song about a vending machine Don't you know that it's really not my scene Trying to think of something clever with a little twist If we do another hoedown, I'll slit my fucking wrist <laughs> Five hundred points to Ryan for giving the censor something to think about. <laughs> nobody, nobody is funnier when they're pissed off than Ryan Styles. Nobody. I didn't know we could say fucking all this time. We'll go. Yeah. <laughs> Do it again. More, 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 more. <laughs> Hey, and the bonus is we can see Ryan slit his fucking wrist. 
That's lit as fucking wrist. Yeah. Is this the easiest way to take this elephant's temperature? And welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Uh, for uh, this is how the go. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I can't even talk. This is how the game works. Uh, what happens is, uh, it's not even a game. This is how the show works. I kill myself. <laughs> and you get to cheer me on as I lop off different parts of my body. <laughs> going into a bat of acid. When my, I'm down to my penis, and just my penis is hopping around, the game ends, the penis awards the points, and then you carry off the bloody penis on a stick while marching around the town square. I think we got it. I'm the Mr. Bath. I love it. The 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 Come to my bosom and let me hold you. Besame mucho, mama. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Who's Line Is It Anyway, the show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Hi, welcome to Fuck Me Silly. I freaking test it. Pardon my language, I'm so sorry. It's a comedy show, comedy show. <laughs> Colin is a space station mechanic asked to fix an emergency on the Russian space station Mir. Go ahead. Point seats to Colin and Ryan for that fine performance in that last game. <laughs> so let's see the Noah's Ark daytime talk show. Hello and welcome to When the Ship Hits the Fan. We're talking about boats, boats, boats. True, hang up the phone till it rings back to you. That's how they get you. It's three ninety nine a minute, and you just keep. <laughs> All I can say is I've got quite a head. I love being a New York fan. That spider's fucked up. Yeah. And, baby, if you were single, boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? My wife just gave birth the other day, and I really supported her all the way. Time went for hours, all oh, hours were passing. Oh, God. There's 27 more games, and no one leaves the goddamn studio. Well, the brother got to be at the desk. <laughs> Hey, listen, you did your singing and dancing just now. <laughs> okay, Mr. Carey. Okay. Bachelor number one. I'd like to lick you like a candy cane. <laughs> lick him a chocolate. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a gay man and a Jew? A hit Broadway show. The scene is your to <laughs> plug him in. Plug him in. Plug him in. It's unplugged. 
That's not the money. <laughs> I smell like condiments. <laughs> Relish, mustard, ketchup, and cheese. <laughs> sure, now I can't rhyme in hoedown, but... Uh... <laughs> Drew, was that a Coke or a Pepsi you spilled? Well, that was, uh, depends on who wants to give me money. <laughs> could be an RC, could be a 7-Up, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes great, though. I shall take pictures of you, sell them to Playboy, and we shall be rescued! based on suggestions from the audience and at the end of each little game I'm gonna award them some points and uh, points don't mean a thing because uh, Brad, Brad. fucking around <laughs> yeah, I think Brad should apologize to Drew thanks Brad <laughs> Let's go on to a game called Let's Make a Date. This is for all four performers, and uh, can I do that one? Yeah, more time? this should be the first game. The first game. Oh, is the Come first on, game? Brad. I'm going to pee in my pants if we go. Yes, he's DJ Laura Hall. DJ does Hey. Hey. My first guest. You're not wearing pants. Why is that? Uh, well, okay. well, isn't it obvious? <laughs> was anybody else turned on by that last game, or was it just me? <laughs> the next game is called Medieval Gynecologist. That would be so great if you could ever put that on the air. <sighs> oh, guests! Hello! Have you ever been to Intercourse, Pennsylvania? <laughs> Let us hear the puberty hoedown. When I was a young boy, I thought I'd never change. But then as I got older, I started feeling strange. One day I was standing, and then I saw a girl. And when I saw her booty, it totally rocked my world. Puberty's kind of a hard one without talking about jerking off and stuff like that. <laughs> I like to grab my penis, I pull it all the time. Hello, I'm quite hung. And... Lunch <laughs> winners, it's a four-way tie! Four-way tie! Everybody's a winner, it's like the Special Olympics. Uh... We're going to play a game called 
Dating service video. Dating service video. Well, I'm a Klingon by trade. But when I'm not funny, I sit here with this fucking thing on my head. Feel like I've just been laid. Who wants some hot dog on a me? I also have two in the bush. Yeah, well, I'm hung like a horse. Laura's had her baby since we've started, so... Your pocket knife! Oh, wait, I've got it in my pant pocket. Oh, no, wait a minute, it's in your pant pocket. Where is it? Where is it? They're getting close. I'm a hoeing and I'm a downing. <laughs> oh, down. Woo. Public restrooms. I love public restrooms. I love the way they smell. I walk in and take a breath and I just say, oh, well, I'll stay in there all day, no matter what it takes. And when I leave, I always eat those tasty urinal cakes. <laughs> then I took a shit. <laughs> Shit. Explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Explosive diarrhea. Blowjob from the janitor. Blowjob from the janitor. <laughs> Blowjob from the janitor. <laughs> Look, I can move by myself. <laughs> oh. Colin catches Drew in an intimate moment with Colin's wife, Ryan. Okay, and we have to do it 90 seconds, starting with the letter F. You're going to time us? And go. Fuck me. Fuck me hard. <laughs> Keith, can you put this somewhere for me? <laughs> I still have the one you gave me yesterday. Does this look weird on camera? <laughs> oh, I got home my wife. I gave her a good. Let me tell you. Whatever it is, it's got six dicks. <laughs> Ah, oh, my ass is hurt. Come here. Come here. You know what I want. Get down there. Oh, <laughs> Whatever it is, it's got five dicks. Thousand points each for keeping it clean. <laughs>